Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen how to apply the animations for a dynamically inserted element. So dynamically added element means how what we can say is which is added through the NGF. Now in this video, we will see this about this void statement. So here we have seen about this void shown and also shown and void, right? We'll try to see about the wild state. So here if you see in this one conditional trigger, we are using the shown and not shown. And here we don't have any state. Here also the state we are using the shown state, but we are not writing any styles. So now we can remove this one, right? So we are not using any styles means we can remove this one. So that means there is no states for this one. So for this type of things, we are just using a temporary styles and we are doing it. Now, if you try to write this one, what will happen still the code will work without any problem. Why? Because the state doesn't have anything to do with. So still it will work. Now, for example, let's say that here in our code, so we are not using the state shown and all those things, right? So now what I can do, if you write it like this, then it should be have a provision. So now we are not having any states. So we are writing, uh, we are writing it only with the added conditional trigger and this should work. So whatever it may be the state. So it is coming from wide to any state or any state to wide if it is going, then that cut out animation has to fire. Now, if you see here, it will not fire. Now the problem comes here. So animation is not firing. So here in this scenario, what we can do it is, so here we are not using any, any, what I can say is any states we are not using and it is coming from void means nothing. So from empty, so from empty to particular state we are getting and state to the void it is getting. So here the state is doesn't matter. It can be any state right now here you here you have we have used the shown state. So you can use any state if you want it. But here now angular comes with a handy thing that is wildcard. So if you mention star here, so any state, so from void to any state it is coming and also from any state to void it is coming. Then the animation has to happen. So when you are using this while state means then here you can use it like this at the rate like this, you can use it. Now, if you try to see the output, then also the output will work here. See, we are able to see that opacity thing. So this is how the while state will be very much useful. Most often we will be using this one when we are working on the animations with an NGF or any dynamical added elements, we'll be using this one. So wide to star and star to wide. And here there is no need to mention the state. So just you can add the trigger here with an thread. So this is one of the important thing or this is one of the very much useful thing. And apart from this one, okay, the transition and this transition, what we have written, we can also rewrite this one in a separate, in a, in a different way. So I can comment out this and I can copy this everything and I can paste it at the bottom. And here I will try to remove this one. So here we are having a void to star and also a star to void, right? This is the most common way of using. So for this one, we can also write an alias thing. So this is an another thing enter. Okay. When this is entering, that means the element is entering and here you can write leave. So when this one is leaving, so these are the two scenarios which you can use it. So this, these are alias to the void to star and star to void. So anything, either case you can use it, either you can use this type of scenario implementation or otherwise you can use this enter leave implementation. Now, if you see the output, so then also the output will work very nice, right? So we are able to see, we are able to implement like this. So whichever you want to implement, you can implement it. I'm using this. I'm keeping this one as a comment for reference thing. So this is where we can use it. Now let's go on to the next one. So what I want to do is, so here I will create a button, simple button. So here I am creating a button and here I will be using shrink. Okay. And for this one, I can use click event. And before that one, I can use a paragraph element and shrink me. So just a text I am using. And for this one, I am using the ng style. Okay. NG style. I will be using this NG style. So here I need to write the width. So width dot pixel. I'm using this type of dimension and I want to write a width variable. I will be using this width variable and here at the red click, I will be using width is equal to width minus 50. 
okay you can also write with minus is equal to 50 also just i'm using so this is our width variable and let's go to the ts and here i will write it the width is equal to 400 okay so for the time being i will using the 400 now if you go here and if you refresh this page so here we are able to see a shrink shrink me this one which is a width 400 pixel and if i try to click it like this every time 50 pixel will be decreased fine this is fine now what i am trying to tell you about this one is let's say that i am having an another button okay i am having an another button animate me i am using this one like this and here i can use something like click is equal to animate is equal to not of animate okay i will use i will use this one and this animate i can create a variable here animate is equal to false okay let's go into this animation i will create an animation uh, here export constant shrink shrink sh shrink uh, what I can say shrink animation okay shrink animation is equal to shrink animation of like this I will use it okay now so we don't want any states in this one also so I don't want to have any states or anything just I will use the transition okay so here transition so from start to start okay I am using from start to start so anything so from start to start means from any state to any state so it can be from any state to any state so i what i want to do is i want to animate okay animate 400 and i want to animate so here style of width zero so it needs to shrink it and again i want to get an animate so let's again 400 to a style of 400 so here 400 i want to animate it i will keep it as a comma okay so here so right now we are making it as a constant 400 why because we don't know so when i shrink this one every time 50 it is decreasing means i don't know the width thing so here the width is dynamic so here if i try to use this animation in this one um, what i can say is uh, here i can use this shrink animation shrink animation so this has been injected and let's go to here and i can use it for this one directly at the rate uh, i will use something like uh, I will use directly at the rate shrink shrink animation yeah now if you see the output for this one what happened any errors animation we, do, we have some errors in this one so here also we need to close it yeah now if you see the output for this one automatically the animation is happening here right so automatically the animation is happening so here if I try to shrink it and if I want to animate it here the when I am clicking on the animate button animate is not happening so why the animate is not happening is so here the state we need to somehow change this one so for changing the state what I can do is I can add any state so shrink animation I will do something like is equal to if animate is there means then uh, shrink so whatever the state so some random state so it needs to change some random state so that while uh, what I can say is while a while state will uh, invoke now if you try to see here so it is having something like 400 pixel it is doing and i am shrinking here to something like this and if i click on the animate see it is animating to the 400 pixel it should not animate to the 400 pixel it should animate to here only 300 pixel to 200 pixel only why because i have shrinked the width from 400 to the 200 so this time this shrink me width is only 200 so that means somehow we need to know about this one dynamically so know this width dynamically when we are using the string for this reason angular provides us with a option that is nothing but you can keep a star so whenever you are having a dimensions and you want to have uh, animate the dynamically dimensions like width height anything so you can use the star option here so that automatically whatever the width is there for that one dynamically it will take use of that width now if you see the output here if you refresh this page so here the animation will happen so I will shrink it up to here if I click on the animate see up to there only the animation will be there so that means the width it is taking note of the width the angular animation and it is shrinking and doing with the same width only when you try to give 400 or 100 percent like that means so it will not work in the same way so this is how the dynamically dimension 
uh, we, uh, we can use it for the animations like this and also star to star is a wildcard entries wildcard state and enter leave is also from white to any state if you want to use it we will be using it like this so this is all about the concept of this uh, what i can say wild state animations so i will commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 31 video hyphen 31 and i will commit this all the code so wild state animations okay i will committing this code so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things in this one so you can refer to the code github repository so the github repository url will be provided in the angular animation so this is our github repo url so whoever may be having a doubts or anything so they can refer to this code okay so the the, the the repository url will be provided in the description below of this video hope you understood about this wild state animations if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you